What's going on guys? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker and today I wanted to discuss with you why you should start your first feature film now. So, you know, you shouldn't wait for the right amount of funding, for the perfect scenario, for the right gear, the right camera, the right lens or sound equipment or anything like that. You should find your, your tribe, your friends in your local area. It doesn't matter if you're all the way in Kentucky or Ohio and there's no film scene. That's a great opportunity for you to create the film scene. You know, a lot of people think that they have to wait for these golden circumstances to take place before they make their film, right? But the sooner you make your film, the sooner you learn that not only you can do it, but you learn all the mistakes that you'll make so you'll become a better filmmaker. I've made four feature films. I shot a three episode reality show, a pilot, and we're in pre-production on my fifth film. Now, I say that to say this. Prior to that, I was in LA in uh, 2006, right? In front of the camera as an actor and stuff. And I, I didn't start shooting my first film till about 2000, I think it's like 19, 2020, something like that, somewhere around that area. And that was Rex Park, Curse of the Golden Buddha. When I watch that movie today, I'm like, man, uh, it's kind of rough, right? Um, even though it does have its, its very, very small niche audience of like two people that know me, so they're probably lying. But... I never had these dreams and aspirations of being a filmmaker. It wasn't even on my radar. I, you know, it's, it's like I wasn't given an opportunity. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to go and create my opportunity. And from film number one to film number two, the quality's gotten better. From film number two to film number three, the quality's gotten better. Three to four, every film you're getting better. You're learning your style. You're learning the way you like films to look and feel and sound. And, and you learn uh, more about yourself as a creative. So it's important for you to start now. And it doesn't matter if you're 17. It doesn't matter if you're 55, right? We're all gonna die and we're all gonna reach that point 100%, like every one of us is gonna die. So if it's in your list and it's part of your bucket list or it's just something you wanna do, then go and create your film. It doesn't matter if it isn't perfect. It doesn't matter if it's not the 100% vision that you have in mind. Just go and start creating and start building that economy of filmmakers that you can collaborate with that economy of actors and producers and writers that you guys can create, you know, and share dreams and visions. Because sometimes, you know, you never look at it this way, that you as a filmmaker could be helping someone else achieve their dreams, right? Imagine the actors on set that get to act, right? And be a part of a movie, whether it's their first film or their fifth film or their 10th film, like imagine how they feel right? They get to go and act. You get to act. You get to be a part of a story that lives within this frame and space within your phone or TV, right? You get to create imagination and make it real. So it's very important for creatives to not worry. And it took me five film, four films, right? To get to this point. And this is where I'm at today. For filmmakers to not worry about the level of success in comparison to where, you know, Steven Spielberg is, right? We all want to be Christopher Nolan, right? Um, or, or Will Smith or, or Brad Pitt. But it's more about you proving to yourself that you can do it and you can create and you can excel within that space. I think it's very important that we stop, you know, as filmmakers getting discouraged because 
we don't get into the film festivals or we don't get the Netflix deal or we're not making these big budget features and we're making a thousand dollar feature, right? It's, it's, it's good to not get discouraged and just remember this. When you die or you're on your deathbed and you're surrounded by your family and friends and you're just reminiscing about your life, are you going to be happy that you made that film? Or are you going to be sad that you didn't accomplish the things in life that you wanted to do when you were young? I'm Jason Park. This is Hypertude. I hope this inspires you to go and make your film. And if you have any questions, um, you have any knowledge that you want as you go on this journey, uh, I'll... I'm more than happy to help uh, give you that information. Again, I'm Jason Park. This is Hypertude, and I'm out.